Yo, you remember that movie that we've been waiting for for like eight years? That shit's out, you know what I'm saying? And it's banging, right? It's banging. There are some flaws, there are some flaws. Like every movie, there are some flaws, but uh, otherwise, it is, uh, it's banging. It's banging real good. So, yeah, here's, here's that. All right, I gotta tell you right off the bat real quick, this movie is very obviously rushed. There's um, there's many things that point to it being rushed, uh, like some of the dialogue could be a little off, like it's clear they never made like a fourth draft. It's clear they just went like three drafts on this and they called it a day. Uh, it's clear that not much editing went it away. And it makes a lot of sense because Scott Cawthon, the creator of the FNAF games, which this uh, movie is based on, he rejected like 11 scripts, like literally like 11 scripts. So I think what they did is they just, they just pushed out a bunch of different scripts and then threw them at Scott over and over again just a bunch of like mid-tier quality ones until he decided that he liked one and then they elaborated they or they elaborated on one further and then made it a little more high quality which is what this movie is so I feel like there's a lot of continuity issues not a lot but there's a couple of things that don't necessarily make any sense by a couple I mean like literally a couple there's like two two things that don't make any sense um, and like I was just saying, some of the dialogue is a little off, but not that much. Everything else feels fine. And some of the filming feels like it's been rushed, like some of the pacing in the filming, if that makes any sense. Uh, so everything just kind of feels fast sometimes. And it's clear that they were like trying to rush like to launch or something at some point. But yeah, this movie feels kind of rushed. Uh, it's not that noticeable. Like on your first watch through, it's not going to be that noticeable. But uh, with me, it was noticeable immediately. But that's probably because I'm a writer and I look out for these things. But yeah, it's not that prevalent, but it's there. Another issue with this movie is how kind of undark it is. Like it gets pretty dark there, but the FNAF... Uh, franchise is known for being like super duper dark and I feel like they definitely toned it down a lot and it makes a lot of sense because it's a PG-13 movie um, and like the franchise like if the franchise like if the games had been released in AAA I feel like they probably would have gotten an M rating you know what I'm saying and then they they turned like you know an M game a mature game which is if you don't know what that is it's the rated R for games um, it's like they turned a, a mature game into, you know, a PG-13 movie, which is exactly what they did. So a lot of the things feel a lot more toned down than they could be. Um, but there is some dark shit in here, uh, and it's pretty good. And I previously mentioned this, but there's an entire B-plot. If you don't know what a B-plot is, it's essentially a secondary plot in a storyline. So there's like the main storyline, and then like there's a secondary storyline going on, uh, like in the background. And here they do a B-plot in the movie, which I feel like they definitely shouldn't have done, but they did a B-plot in the movie, and I kid you not, that shit goes nowhere. Like, like literally, do they, the movie just ends in the middle of the B-plot, and it just ends on like a cliffhanger. And it's not like it's gonna be elaborated further in the sequel, I severely doubt it, it's just like they just completely forgot that there was a B-plot, and it just never went anywhere. I heard someone else complaining about how the B-plot didn't go anywhere, but... Uh, it's not just me this b-plot literally went nowhere and I don't know what the hell happened But they were they were lacking on the writing on that part. And that's it That's literally everything wrong with this movie now. Let me get into all the good stuff, right? Let me get into the the good, you know the the, the gravy the goodness, right? First off the effects. Oh my god the effects. Oh fuck. They're phenomenal. They're phenomenal I watched this movie in 4k and holy shit. I could see every lack of dust on Freddy's face and Anyways, the effects are fucking amazing. All of the anim all all of the animatronics are practical, so they're all real. They're actually there. There's like two CG scenes in the entire movie, and they all look fucking beautiful. And also, a lot of the characters are very developed and rounded out, which I really like to see. And a lot of them are really likable. I like how um, Mike starts off not really liking his sister Abby. I mean, he likes her, but he just he feels like he doesn't really want to take. Uh, full parental control of her and then by the end of the movie he realizes shit I should probably you know I should probably do this so overall all the characters are really developed and nicely rounded out and I really like that about this movie they didn't neglect any characters whatsoever and uh, also it's really scary like genuinely like two of the jump scares actually got me in this movie and it's kind of crazy how scary the movie actually is because you know it's pg-13 i didn't think they'd be able to go too far with um with the spookiness but they actually did they went pretty far with the spookiness uh this movie is decently scary like it probably won't give your kids nightmares but i wouldn't take anybody under five to this movie um and also they do really really good kills in it too like like they do really really good kind of gory kills which is insane because like i said again like i said before it's pg-13 you know so don't expect an insane amount of guts and blood everywhere but 
but there are some really really good kills in this movie despite it only being pg-13 and it's and it shows off how good um the director is uh if they can you know if they can work around the pg-13 rating to give us good kills while not you know making it super gory or anything another good thing is uh all the creative additions to the story you know all the stuff that wasn't in the games like abby she's not in the games as far as i'm concerned um vanessa isn't in any of the games except for security breach so it's pretty cool that they added her in here and made her a plot uh, or a part of the story uh so a lot of the additions to the story are done really well also the cinematography oh my god the cinematography is fucking beautiful you can see it. this is a full movie like i just downloaded the full movie and i'm playing it right now in the background and you can see how beautiful this movie is like it genuinely looks really nice uh it it, it a lot in the trailers it looks kind of cheap but then here it feels like they really rounded it out and made it sharper and made it clearer uh and it's really nice and that sometimes and sometimes it looks like it's filmed on uh, on film when in reality it's digital as far as i'm concerned which is pretty cool because film looks nice um and also there's phenomenal acting the acting is just great uh sometimes it's a little off but other times it is great um elizabeth leo is in it and she's a great actress she pulls off an amazing um uh, amazing performance here i did not find a single line with her going off script or you know it didn't feel like it was going off script either it didn't feel you know too stiff or anything also josh hutcherson of course he's amazing in this he doesn't do much necessarily in the movie he doesn't have that many lines of dialogue per se but he's still good with everything uh, and of course and of course matthew lillard like obviously he's going to be good um, there's also a really good twist near the end of the movie which is not in the games as far as I'm concerned, it's not in the games, um, and I did not expect it whatsoever. Despite me trying to chase down like pretty much every spoiler I could find online, I still didn't see this anywhere spoiled online, so it's pretty cool that I actually got to experience that twist, uh, and it's a damn good twist as well. It kind of comes out of nowhere, and it's great. Also, the set pieces in this movie, oh, phenomenal. The set design feels like it, it was done by some of the greatest, to be honest. Uh, there's a scene near the beginning in a mall, and it feels kind of nice. And then, don't even get me started on the pizzeria. I mean, the pizzeria is beautiful. Um, what else? Uh, Josh's house, which shows up a lot, or not Josh's. Josh is the name of the actor. Uh, Mike, Mike's house in the movie. Beautiful, beautiful set piece. Everything, it feels like an actual home, and it doesn't feel like, you know, like they just rented out a house threw two chairs in there and called it a day no it feels like an actual house and another thing is that uh this is a bit of a spoiler but not necessarily because he was shown in the trailers but uh spring bonnie shows up at the end and ooh, his suit his suit ah oh, it's phenomenal it's phenomenal so overall this movie it has a couple of it has a couple of flaws and it feels rushed and it feels kind of cheap and it feels kind of kiddy at times but at the times but at other times it feels fucking phenomenal you know what i mean it feels like it feels like i definitely got my money's worth I'm not sure if it I'm not sure if it warranted eight years of waiting time but it was I'm still happy that this movie got released but I feel like a delay definitely would have done it justice I feel like if they had delayed it to like like uh, I don't know like March of 2024 I feel like if they had delayed it to March of 2024 they would have been able to get additional shoots in maybe beefed up the movie a bit even though it is like two hours it still feels kind of short it felt like they could have beefed it up a bit i feel like they could have polished the script a bit made a couple of more drafts fixed some of the dialogue fixed the b plot but yeah i feel like a delay would have done it justice like just a couple of months to polish out the rest of the movie so it doesn't feel as rushed would have been would have would have done it good so that's why i'm super hyped for the sequel right because it's not going to be as rushed it's gonna they're gonna take their time with the sequel which is good because it's gonna be high quality and it's not gonna feel as rushed and they're probably gonna have a bigger budget and it's gonna be great so overall this movie is phenomenal go watch it it's on peacock it's it's uh it, it's it's really good it just it does justice to the games um while also giving people who have never heard of the games before a, a fun time as well with it so uh so yeah go watch this movie it slaps smell you later suckers